Hello everyone and welcome to the 57th episode of the Top 5 Weekly. In this series, each week we look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam. We analyze each one of those missions, we discover their features and finally we test them out here in the world of Stormlands. Now, if you're enjoying this videos, comment below anyone else you'd like to see any of my future videos. Why there? Don't forget that like and subscribe button and click the little bell icon to be notified about my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said, let's get straight into it and get started with the first creation of this episode. And starting off with the first creation of this week, we have the Houseboat River Lodge. This is a creation done by a content creator called It's MB. Now, this is, as it says in the name, it's meant to be a houseboat. It's apparently got a lot of detailing in it. Uh, also has a freshwater tank of 1,000 liters, two cabins, a washroom, there's a kitchen, there's outside steering, there's top speed about 15 knots, there's two cameras in there also. So pretty cool so let's go and spawn this in and see how it works here in the world of stormworks and spawning in the house but you can see this thing's nice and small uh, i don't really think it's designed for ocean going but definitely around uh, rivers and things it looks really nice uh it's not too big it's got a nice shallow hull to it uh obviously going in the very shallow water uh yeah it's looking really quite good um seems like we have a really nice painted deck uh towards here in the back you can see use paint blocks for pretty much everything along here tricky walking around the sides um and falling off but uh, yeah you can see all these paint blocks a little like table here at the back i'm guessing this is the bridge over here and then going inside we have the inside and see any lights hold on there go air lights and heaters okay so we have some diving equipment we have a little bench with a little table in there a little calendar TV with a camera at the front. Uh, we have a washroom. Okay, so just the toilet in there. Right now, it looks like a clock, I'm guessing, on the wall there. Oh, library. We have mm, a world. Okay, so this is like a little bedroom with a heater in, a TV, and a light. And going around to the next, we have another cabin. A little bit smaller this time. Um, a little lighthouse there, a little locker. We have a light and a heater again, some polar outfits just in case you get cold. A little kitchen, a washing machine, a little sink, uh, and then looks like a dining room table with a radio and a hanging light. I love, I love how people are using these now to put lights. I, I really like that. Um, so yeah, not much else inside. Uh, if we close that off, let's go to the helm here and let's see what we have. So nothing in terms of buttons. We just have tanks, RPS, throttle steer engine on off navigation lights okay so our nav lights left and right nothing in the rear uh reverse don't reverse the throttle keeping positive okay and spotlights where are the spotlights okay so just one spotlight in the front engine on and ws for throttle and just like that we're going decent speed for what it is Nice, very nice. What was the engine temperature? 30, 12, 13 knots, not bad. This is really cool, really quite nice. Let's see how it turns. Ooh. Okay, actually, it handles really well. Bobbing around a bit, but that's just because it's very light. Yeah. Nice little, <laughs> nice little river boat, so you can just go and just go and put it anywhere you want. Get a whole bunch of these up on the beach. Yeah, really, really cool. Um, nice one. That's something we, we haven't seen much of in Stormworks is, is something like this. Um, so yeah, really cool. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one of the episode. And moving on to the next creation, we have the FV Investor. This is meant to be based off the infamous fishing vessel Investor. It's done by a content creator, actually by two content creators, one called FJ Warner and the second one is E Train. Now, this is a, uh, he's put a little bit of a history on there um, about the boat itself, but in terms of features, it has lights, full interior, advanced uh, mode, of course, and fishing equipment inside there, apparently. So let's go ahead and let's spawn this in and see how it drives here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the next boat, you can see this little shi uh, shipping slash fishing vessel, a really, really cool, love the mast and all the ropes and things he has on top there. It seems quite bow heavy. I don't know if just maybe need some time to stabilize. Uh, I'm not too sure, but overall, yeah, a very unique hull shape. Um, looks like it's he's done a good job underneath there too, which is really nice to see. 
Brunt is using all these new wedges and things. It could be the issue. Um, yeah, let's go and climb up the back here. Okay, so the back deck we have a boom holder. Okay, uh, we have what is this? Back just a storage compartment here at the back. You can go and store things. Close that. Um, what else? We have a engine hatch. Okay, just to go and look at the engines. Nothing really else down there. I guess we have to use this to get up. Yep. Okay, let's go and close that. We have a push button. I'm guessing for that's refueling. Uh, what else? We have boom down. This is for fishing, if I'm correct. Untie net. Yep, and yeah, you can go and hook that. Cool. Uh, net out. Yeah, that's nice. Net in. So yeah, pretty much you can go and play with that if we could only catch fish. It would be lovely. Uh, but yeah, it's done a good job with that. All works very well. Let's see if we can get that reconnected. I don't want to reconnect. I'm guessing I might click in later on and connect to something. Possibly. Uh, cool. Okay, what else do we have at the back here? So it's like a camera. We have a cabin. Let's go in the cabin. Ooh, that's quite nice. Nice little detailing, a nice little kitchen. I really like the design. A uh, little table. Uh, some bunk beds. And looks like a toilet and a shower. Nice. I like that. I love, love the detail there. Uh, let's go up to the next level. So. This level we have seems like the bridge. We'll come back to that. So there's no way to get to the front. So let's go up the ladder here. And then you have the front of the ship. Nice with a bow hatch. Oh, okay, so that goes into the cabin. Okay. Nothing else here. Uh, nothing else really going around. Cool. Okay, so let's go and jump into the oven here. Close that off. Okay, so that's the door we should have come in. It's coming here we have engine we have looks like a navigator seat with a radar on it okay what else do we have a little escape hatch that we looked at already and this looks like it goes down to the kitchen yeah looks like it goes down to the kitchen uh and then we have the captain's chair so let's go check out the captain's chair so nav lights night light sorry uh reverse change screen ignition let's get the ignition on okay uh, hold on engine pumps we probably need those on outside light screens lights okay okay we can turn that off engine's good we just have radar or camera that's it uh reverse night lights oh let's go and get throttle up touch off Get throttle up again and there we go uh of the exhaust coming out there that looks really good yeah just very very simple no frills about this ship just really nice it's got a lovely design to it also especially using those new wedges really quite nice love the lights at the top also you can just imagine it's like in a storm Ah, really cool. How does it handle though? Yeah, it handles well. Doesn't seem to be moving around too much. Our net is untied. But yeah, that's handling really well. Really, really nice. Yeah, really cool creation. Really nice one. Ooh, seems to be taking a load of water there at the back. Try and stabilize here. I didn't see any like pumps or anything. I'm guessing why he has the front so heavy also is because it lifts up so much. I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool creation. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one of the episode. And moving on to the next creation, we have the RS224 Elsvin. This is a creation done by Logs. Now you guys know his work already. Now this is meant to be a futuristic class Norwegian Ocean Rescue Society ship. Uh, it's meant to be inspired by the uh, Ulsten class vessels. Uh, pretty cool. Along with that, has a couple different features on there. A um, whole bunch of equipment. Oh, it's just a huge workshop page in terms of 
what he's got going on here. Uh, there seems to be a huge, a little bit of a startup procedure. Along with that, there's a whole bunch of screens and computers in there too. There's autopilot and plotting courses and all kinds of cool things. So let's go, let's spawn this in and see how it drives here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the next creation, you can see this boat from Logs looks absolutely gorgeous. It's got an absolutely cool design. I really like it. Um, seems to have some wings or some unlike stabilizers of some sort underneath it uh, and also here at the back now going along let's just move up to the back and let's see what we have jets at the back seems like a propeller also some more propellers there it's like some lasers of some sort underneath there uh, let's go and get back up onto the back deck here so to have like a little like a magnet and a mag all there uh, some controls for that we have emergency flare, emergency flare. Uh, what is this? Guessing refueling. What? No, firefighting. Okay, firefighting there. We have the rear crane, which I think you can operate using the set button for emergency fuel. No, okay. Uh, so crane on off. Connector left, right, up. Yeah, up, down, left, right. Nice, nice little crane. Really nice to turn it off. Oh, what is it doing? Anything. Okay, I guess it's going up right then. And now down. Okay, so I think it's just resetting itself. Uh, okay, so we have mentioned cut fuel cut off, refueling electric there. Let's go to the front. Um don't know what that is. I can't get I can't access that. Uh middle emergency flare, we have mooring. Uh, what else? Nothing else really. Let's see what this system here. This is something here. Not too sure just yet. Uh, nice little overview. Oh, it looks like a water cannon hiding underneath here. We'll have to check that out. More boring lines on that side. Uh, let's go into the back. So, door. Okay, passenger seats. Medical bed. Nice detailing. Uh, what else do we have along? So, we have crew. Okay. And we have a hatch. Let's go check. Five hours equipment here. Go down to the hatch. So some medical stuff, some equipment, seats, uh, kitchen, temperature, time, toilets. Lovely. Engine room. Nice compact little engine room here. All the things we need. Nice. Nice. Nice little engine room. Go and close that off. Stoves, okay, and looks like a TV, crew cabin, all right, yeah, nice, oh, emergency scape hatch, okay, so those was what those hatches are for, another cab there, and emergency scape hatch there, okay, just in case, uh, looks like a portable radio, yeah, portable radio of some sort, nice, always useful to have, of course. Well, let's go back up to the next deck and check out this cabin here. Now, uh, let's close that off. So, we have this cabin, looks very futuristic, and I don't really know what's going on. Two of these arms. Um, to pilot, plotting. Wait, sit here? No. Okay, so we have driver and we have navigator. Let's check out the navigator. Oh, he's. Oh, okay, so it's an armrest. Okay, so plot course. VHF channels, uh, crane, crane, searchlights, grappling hook, emergency strobe lights, loudspeaker, speaker, backlights, navigator screen, HUD, driver screen, okay. So, seems like some waypoints of some sort. Left, right, yeah, SOG, okay, cool. Screen, radar, camera, camera cool okay um so we have maggles searchlights okay it's so just basic searchlights emergency strobe lights oh that's bright where are those oh those lights are there there and there that's really cool I like the strobe lights uh, let's turn those off screen lights up and down oh it actually brings the Oh, that's okay, cool. Get the brightness. That's very nice. Uh, now for backlights. Okay, we have all that on. Okay, so. 
VHF fan or VHF channel, okay, let's go jump to the driver's seat. Uh, we have autopilot hold heading engine 1, engine 2, autopilot's coordinates, clutch engine throttle, stop engines, okay, anti-collision, anti-collision, buckets, RPS, no alarms, mute, on, launch illumination flare, handheld fire hose, bilge pumps, water cannon, nope, uh, ready water cannon, that opens up a little hatch there and puts up the water cannon in the front if I'm correct, yeah a little water cannon moves out, pops up and I think, no it just stays there, okay, fair enough, a nice little, nice little compartment, that's pretty cool. Uh, and I'm guessing close that off, rear deck lights, front deck lights. Okay, so just some spots, cool. Uh, deck lights, those are nice. Down firing lights, um, green lantern, rear lantern, top lanterns. Okay, so that's your different navigation lights if you want. Red bridge lights, door. And white interior lights, so we can turn this off, put red ones on if we want. Okay, let's get this going. So, throttle. And then, touch off. Actually, I don't think we need it, clutch. Uh, engine throttle was on. Okay, bow thruster left, right, F down, uh, WS steering. Shoot. And there we go, and we're off. I think we're running out of quite a hard IPS. Seems like we're doing well. Handling really well, stabilizing itself. Hold heading, toggle front lights. Yeah, toggle autopilots. Yeah, it seems like it's doing really well. Let's unsync that. And now we can use WS to control the boats. That's doing really well. Bobbing around a little bit here and there. Put that sinking back on. Yeah, regular top speed is 50 knots, RPM limit off 70 knots. What are we doing now? What's our speed right now? Oh, there you go, 71. 71 knots. Mm. Okay, I guess this we're doing 70 knots. Nice. Going nice and fast too. Like we just made it to Multiplayer Island. Yeah, really nice creation. Lovely design. I absolutely love the design of this boat. It looks really cool. Really cool. He's done a cool job with the cockpit to uh, the bridge. So much detail to it. Uh, but yeah, absolutely lovely. No lag at all. So, and moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have Anderson Island Puget Sound Ferry. This is an updated creation done by a content creator called Mojo Boyson. Now, this is meant to be modeled over the local Puget Sound ferries, uh, not the Washington style state ferry he states in the workshop page itself. Um, now, According to this, it has a double-ended ferry, so you can you can do you can actually drive it from both sides. Uh, there's a couple different features, including like a car deck. There's also lidars in the bridge and so on and so forth. Um, ship stabilizations. There's elevators. There's pretty much everything in there. So let's go ahead, let's spawn this and see how it drives you in the world of stomachs. And spawning in the next one, you can see this is all set up nice. It fits in the dock area. It seems like we have the area to drive here at the back. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any ramps or anything. It just looks like just a little bit of a slope there. I'm guessing it does have a specially designed dock uh, for it. Overall, let's just go jump on the back deck here. So 
We have the little back deck here, um, lines obviously for parking your vehicles. Seems like a staircase to get up to the cabin area. What else do we have along here? So not much else. We have a engine room crew only. Okay, let's go down to the engine room. So exit, okay. And then we seem to have a big engine over here with a engine start. Doesn't do anything. Uh, we have engine and watch station, another engine here at the back. And what do we have? So, E button. Okay, I guess to close the door, open the door. Okay, uh, push button doesn't do anything. Monitors, oh, doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't do anything except the fire alarm does. Oh, hello. Okay, main electric on. Engine one, actually, one. I guess panel lights. Why not? Panel lights on. Main electric engine. Main electric. Okay. Also, that's all on. Then we can get the that on there we go so alarm rps okay uh is there an on button anywhere no okay so there's no on button as far as i know so oh wait there's the on button outside isn't there let's go outside one key switch somewhere around here let's see one yeah there so let's get that on yep that's good let's get the other one on Yep, that's good. Cool. Let's get back up. That's a little engine room. Pretty straightforward. Nice and easy. Uh, key switch, fire alarm, engine room lights. Okay. Closed. We have... Looks like an elevator. Oh, cool. Let's go check that out then. Uh, so, F2. Going up to the next level. And know how far we are. Guessing nearly there. F1. Okay, it doesn't look like we can go to F1. Okay, so we seem to have a like cab cab here of some sort where you can passengers can go and sit and things. Okay, what else do we have? We have a restroom. Okay. What else? Another woman's restroom. Okay. Anything on this side? No, just the elevator where we came from. Seems to have a heater, cab lights, exits. Okay. There's fire alarm buttons everywhere. Um yeah, nothing else really out on the outside. We do have a emergency lifeboat. It looks like it's got all the controls and does work, which is pretty cool. Uh, how do we get up to the next level? Let's see. Okay, ladder. Uh, go back inside. Let's see. I think there was, wasn't there? Didn't see anything. Maybe let's go out door. No, that's far long. Try and get that ladder here. There we go. There's the way to the crew house. Crew house lights, exit, let's close that door. Uh, we have a bridge wing. Okay, so that's to go out. Okay, so that's to go outside onto the wing of the bridge. Uh, so we have a monitor on there, we have some polar gear, another monitor there, and yep, that's it there. So it seems like, as I said, it's like you can control it from this side or this side. Let's go to this side, what do we have? Lighter on and off, zoom in and out, anchor lights, zoom in, fog horn, throttle, engine starter, screen, which I can't see. Hmm, a button to activate the screens. No, uh, navigation lights, number two end, deck lights, search lights, uh, uh, ice, throttle, we can get throttle up. Is it on? Light on, zoom in on anchor lights, zoom out, fog on, it's working. Oh, okay, now we have a map. We get the throttle up up to full and we're moving there we go it's very steady very steady i love the bar design and uh, the whole design a nice like v shape could have been a little more curved but i can't tell i don't know if it, what the real one is meant to look like but yeah it looks cool looks really cool got the ladder there on the side Lovely, nice and clean, nice and simple. Let's see how it handles and turns. Turning left here, or trying to turn left at least. Okay, 
Look like we're doing anything. Uh, other keys? No, it doesn't look like it wants to do anything. A way to tell tell it that we're here, sitting here instead of sitting here. Ooh. ooh. I think so. The rudder is not moving at all. Ah. Uh. Uh. I was just a passenger seat. That's the helm. Okay. And now. Yep, there we go. We're turning. Oh, that's very steady. That is very steady. Really cool. Yeah, very nice one for the fourth creation of this episode. Just nice, clean, simple, does its job, works well, like there's no issues. Easily get this on. I think, as I said earlier, I think there is a specially designed terminal for this. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, really nice one. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the last creation of this episode. And moving on to the next creation, we have the Orion Advanced Rescue Frigate. This is a creation done by Ghost. Now, this is meant to be um, a long range search and rescue frigate designed to serve as a mobile base for land and sea operations. Apparently, it carries uh, on board a rover. There's several hundred liters or thousand liters of fuel in there, 125 knot top speed. Um, quite a different use. There's a high, there's a four deck in terrier there's gps navigation there's uh rocket pods uh, for escaping there's uh, apparently very stable flight observation deck there's landing gear there's a whole bunch of different cool things in there so let's go let's spawn this in and see how it flies here in the world of stomachs and spawning in the next creation you can see this thing is absolutely massive really cool really nice design looks like he's using a whole bunch of like angle blocks everywhere and I think it's going on pivots and things and you can see it's connecting about magnets um but yeah really cool it is very very laggy so do bear in mind you'll probably need a very beefy computer to be running this uh but it seems like we have the landing gear over here at the front i'm guessing this is a some type of compartment that might open up um could be wrong standing clear okay so it's like the rover in there going along we have like I'm guessing these are like the jet thrusters of some sort here okay moving along we have a what is that staying clear L lft lift okay so i'm guessing it's lift okay so let's open that while we carry on uh, it's cool I like how it's coming down there um seems like we have some interior that we can see we have the rear landing gear uh going along the rear some jet exhausts and yeah and these huge like exhaust here at the back love the design of those those look cool too okay let's carry on let's go inside let's see what we have i think that's to be nice and detailed inside okay um okay let's get the lift up i'm guessing that up okay so we're gonna go up now i'm gonna go into the interior it looks really cool So into the interior of the ship. So move along here. Seems to have some heaters. Uh, we have the flock. Okay, more heaters. What else? Uh, lighting. Like it's doing anything. Maybe we need some power on. Oh, there you go. Power on. They can change the lights. Okay, cool. Uh, what else? Just looks like just observation deck with the electrical circuit breaker. I don't know if that does anything. Uh, let's carry on. Let's move up to the next floor. Like we have a phone of some sort just over here. Cool. Uh, let's go to here. Uh, more lights. Nice detailed along here. Really cool. Looks like a medical room of some sort here at the back. And looks like some cabins here for sleeping going along um guessing these are the emergency escape pods okay and nothing else down here carry on going okay let's carry on going along this deck uh what do we have down here so balcony door oh, okay so a little balcony door that's pretty cool and i'm guessing we have the same on the other side 
uh, carrying along just some more detailing, a little detailing along these cab these walkways here. They're really cool. So this is the rover. Okay. Um. So let's do toggle main door. Uh. Raise lower deployment crane. Toggle caution lighting. Main vehicle magnets. Securing controller. Okay. Raise lower. Gonna lower that out. Those controls there. Oh, that's lowering. Um. Which electrical subsystem? Subsystem. 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 Uh, looks like it's all on. Yeah, looks like the guessing is all on. I uh, could be wrong. Okay, and now we can go down. Let's release the magnets. So is that off? I think so. Let's go down. Access hatch. Okay, so the same controls down here, and I guess just jump down. Okay, so it looks like we can. It's, they are. Okay, oh, okay, that's the fluid connector. We have to get this connected there, and oops, connecting there. Let's connect. Go oh, away. Okay, and uh, let's go to the back. Oh. I don't know why it keeps on connecting. Okay, let's go in the back here. What's in here? So, seats. Uh, it's shaking. It's because of the connector. Uh, docking connectors off. Parking brake off. Drive train, power plants. Cabin lights, emergency lights. Seems like we're still connected. Yeah, we're still connected there. Connect us if I can. Get that from I come on and connect that. Now hopefully, we can push it away further than that. We can, yeah, there we go. Okay, let's get back in and five. Yep, there we go. And we can now drive away with this little rover. That's pretty cool. As I said, it is pretty laggy. Uh, but yeah, nice little, nice little rover. Yeah, let's leave that. And let's try and let's just turn this off. Off turn. And let's go in now and try and back in. I don't think we can get in from this rover here. Okay, we deployed it. Don't I can do? Deploy control panel. Okay, so you can actually control kind of nearly. Toggle main door, raise lower. Uh, toggle main door is going to close and we can get rid of the panel now. Cool. Okay, so let's go back in. We'll drop down the lift for us to get back in. Rover's just there. All oh, happy days. Come on. Oops. Up on the lift. Raise the lift now. Like the double action lift here is pretty cool. Okay, and. Let's go back up now. Let's see how this flies. We need to find our way and make a bridge. I guess we'll go up these stairs here. Okay, so next level. What do we have? So nothing, nothing. Breakers. We have a table with a bond map, a location map on it. Uh, what else do we have? Nothing down there. Seems like equipment room. Okay, with just some equipment. Let's carry on going. I'm moving to the front here. We have more lights. Uh, and just an observation. Observation deck over, over there. Okay. So let's 
X level. I'm guessing this is the final level. Some blockers and things are uh, going along. Passengers padded seats. We have executive officer and commanding officer. Uh, let's jump in commanding officer seats. Uh, transfer controls and thrust. GPS way pilot. Top power. Let's get that on. Ooh. Console power here. What else do we have? So, illumination flares, primary fuel valve, propulsion array, why not? Oh, hello. Um, search lights, navigation lights, bow IR camera, altitude hold, manual throttle, manual throttle control, no. GPS autopilot, uh, set ship for Arctic conditions, no. Change selected lighting, toggle interior lighting, turn that off. Let's get FPS back. Cool. Uh, not much else. I think your control for propulsion with manual mode, vertical control. Okay. So up, down. Yep, just like that. And we should be able to do left and right too. Yep, there we go. Seems like using some fans. Very steady though. Very, very, very steady. It looks absolutely cool. Doesn't it? That looks really nice. Okay, let's landing gear. Where is landing gear? Uh, there we go, landing gear. Let's take that off. Watch those close. Nice. Okay, uh, let's try altitude hold to 150. And. Autopilots to let's go to here. Why not? Uh, let's put that in and then let's turn autopilot on. And oh, hello, altitude hold on. We are rising up now. And does it kick in throttle? Doesn't seem like a kick throttle in. Manual throttle control mode. Yeah, why not? So I guess we need to press press W. And yeah, now we're gonna go. Okay, pretty cool. Nice design. I love the different color tones. It's really cool. Orange looks good too. And not the, not the quickest of of uh, 123 knots. Not bad, not too bad. But yeah, really cool, really futuristic, nice design. Reminds me a lot of Log's Log's creations uh, that he's done. Really pretty cool and lovely one to end this episode off with. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it some entertaining and informative as always. And I'll see you in the next one.